This question comes from Michaela Stott. She asks, is it harmful for your body to inhale bad smells? For example, is it bad to inhale septic tank odor or does it just smell horrid or just any really bad smells? I love this question for many reasons, but mostly because I've wanted to know the same thing for a very long time. Because it seems very logical that a horrible smell coming from a source of something that would make you ill could in fact make you sick or kill you. However, science would like to disagree to a degree. From sciencefocus.com, Louis Viazon states, a smell cannot harm you as a smell is nothing more than a neural response to airborne molecules binding to mucous membranes of your nose. So when you're smelling poop, little tiny poop particles are landing inside of your nose and letting you know, well, that there is poop nearby. Yeah, I <laughs> know, it's pretty disgusting. Lewis says a smell cannot hurt you any more than a color can harm you. But then I say, have you guys seen that color green? Yeah, 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 I know. However, sensing bad smells actually has a purpose. As an evolutionary trait, detecting wretched odors lets us know to avoid the thing giving off the horrible smell because those objects probably can harm us. You wouldn't want to take a bite of a dead raccoon or a mouthful of sewage. There's a good chance you might die from that. An article from PopSci.com also talks about this smelly topic. The article describes an instance where an airplane had to emergency land because someone took such a foul smelling crap. However, when it comes specifically to poop, the odor particles that would land in your nose are not the same as airborne pathogens flying through the atmosphere as bacteria and viruses. In fact, a tremendous amount of force needs to be applied for pathogens to be airborne and transmitted through the air. The conclusion, poop, sewage, and septic tanks have noxious Ew. odors, but there is a very low chance it will actually make you ill. Now, on the flip side, some environmental odors are considered toxic. And if the concentration and exposure time is high enough, inhaling these types of toxic fumes could actually kill you. Stuff like paint fumes or very long exposure to diesel. These are things that are really difficult to smell and sense, but the long exposure time could actually do a lot of damage. So if it smells bad, I would play it safe and err on the side of caution and listen to your brain and body and avoid it totally. Now, since it's kind of confusing to tell which smells are actually toxic and which ones are just really smelly, I'm providing a link in the description below to the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. This will give you all the specific information on what to avoid, because I wanna make sure all my Nicopediacs survive until the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, make sure to subscribe. We have new videos every week, and let me know in the comment section below, what is the worst smell you have ever encountered? Did it make you gag on the first whiff? Let me know, and I'll smell you later.